Hi guys, I'm Steph. Thank you so much for checking out my channel today. I am so excited to be sharing with you the products I have pan in at the end of 2018. Six out of seven of these items I actually hit pan in 2018. One of these products did have pan in it before the year started, but I've been working really hard on it, so I still wanted to share it with you guys. If you guys enjoy project panning and that sort of thing, then please consider subscribing because I love project panning. I have so many panning ideas for 2019 that I'm so excited to share with all of you. But now for the products I hit pan on this year. So to start off with, this is my Smashbox blush. And if you've been following along with my channel, I've been working on this all year. This has been in my finish 18, 2018. And you can clearly see there's a lot of pan along the edge. It did have pan at the beginning of the year, but I've had to repress it. And I've been working really hard on it. And I, st I still wanted to show it. I'm really proud of it, even though it... I wish, I wish there was pan in the repress, but regardless, to work on a blush all year, I, I'm happy. Another product that was in my Finish 18 in 2018 that I didn't quite get to was the Rimmel Stay Matte. I didn't quite finish it off. You can see that pan is huge. I'm super happy with that kind of progress. I had a few items that were in Project 5 pans this year. The first one I'm going to share with you is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Illuminating Palette in Catwalk Pink. And I have some pan in this highlighter right here. I hope you guys can tell. This is the first highlighter I ever had pan in, so that was really exciting. Next pan I have is an eyeshadow. This is from the Essence Nudes, All About Nudes eyeshadow. This is the first eyeshadow I ever had pan in. And it's just that cream shade right there. I know a really basic shade, but for my first eyeshadow, I thought it would be easier to start with that. I've definitely expanded the pan a lot and still really use this palette. This product was also in a Project 5 pan this year, but I didn't actually hit pan on it then. I hit pan on it today, and this is the e.l.f. Flawless Eyeshadow Quad in Sea Escape, and I hope you guys can see it. It's like that little, that little baby right there. I just, I hit it today. I'm so excited. I, I need to stop flashing it. It's right there. I just hit it. I'm so happy. I wore this on my lower lash line, like, a, like a lot during the summer, and I didn't hit pan on it, and I've used it a little bit throughout the fall and I was like oh I'm filming this video today maybe I'll have one more product to show you I was like oh, I'm gonna try and I finally hit pan so that was super exciting these last two products I actually just naturally hit pan on the first is the NYX HD finishing powder this is the banana powder and that is my pan I have kind of backed off from using this a bit but I would definitely love to see the pan expand in 2019 and the last product I hit pan on which was kind of a surprise because I have other products I use in this category and I wasn't really trying is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I had pan, I don't know why my pan is like in two different spots, but I hit pan on it, which was kind of surprising because I actually finished two bronzers this year. I was working on another bronzer and a project pan that I unfortunately didn't hit pan in. So I, I did manage to hit pan in another bronze, this bronzer, which is great, but kind of funny I wasn't focusing on it. I know it might not be a lot of products, but I also did actually finish some products with pan this year, so that was pretty exciting. There's one product I have I wasn't sure if it was going to be in this video or the other video I filmed today, which was my year-long makeup empties, and I actually was able to finish it up and put it in my empties for 2018, which is super exciting, so I'm very happy about that. If you want to check out that video, I will link it down below. I'm really proud of the amount of makeup I was able to finish this year. This is the first year I kind of did like project panning and like had a concerted effort to actually use my makeup so I'm really happy with the progress I was able to make but for me I kind of think 2019 is going to be the year of the pan I am I have a lot of big plans to just focus on actually panning items I'll be talking about that more in a few videos from now so if you're interested like I said earlier I would love it if you would subscribe thank you guys so much for watching I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are bye